You ever just want a chocolate shake? Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today, I'm going to talk about Snowball Express. Snowball Express is a 1972 theatrical release, and it's about a family who inherits a decrepit hotel in Colorado and decide to turn it into a ski lodge. The film is directed by Norman Till Carson, with a review by Frank Phillips, editing by Robert Stafford. It's written by Don Tate, Jim Parker, and Arnold Margolin. It's also based off a book called Chateau Bon Vivant by Frankie and John O'Rear. The film stars Dean Jones, Harry Morgan, Nancy Olsen, and Johnny Whitaker. Dean Jones had quite the career. He did a ton for Disney. He's going on to do a ton for Disney in the year that we're in, but he also worked with Elvis Presley and Frank Sinatra and Harrison Ford and Bo Bridges and Angela Lansbury. He has a singing album and he died of Parkinson's disease in 2015. Harry Morgan was in everything. He was in a bunch of Disney films, but he was just in over a hundred films in general. And then he was in MASH and Dragnet, two of his most notable roles by far. And he died in 2011 at the age of 92. Nancy Olsen received a Best Supporting Actress nomination for her role in Sunset Boulevard. She did not win. And then she was in a ton of other Disney movies, The Absent-Minded Professor, Pollyanna. I think she makes a cameo in Flubber in the future. So she just had quite the career at Disney. I cover Johnny Whitaker's history in Napoleon and Samantha. If you want to learn all about Johnny Whitaker, by all means go watch Napoleon and Samantha because I do not want to be repetitive. It was filmed in Crested Butte, Colorado, and it made $6.1 million at the box office. The story got moving right away, which I was really happy about. And the title of the film is starting to come later and later. They're starting to wait until after the inciting incident, which is the thing that sets the whole story on its path. And that's kind of cool. We have like an opening title sequence after we've kind of grown attached to some of the characters, which I think is really nice. Dean Jones's character makes a comment about his one and only female coworker's legs and she kisses him on the cheek for it. Yeah. She made the work day bearable because she had really nice legs. Just shoot me in the face. Without any kind of discussion, Dean Jones tells his whole family he's uprooting their lives and moving them to Colorado. And when Nancy's character tells the children to go to their rooms so she can have a discussion with their father, Johnny's character says, what does this have to do with sex? It was the most out of nowhere line, but it also killed me. <laughs> because it came from a Disney movie, so that was really funny. The lighting is still really harsh, but the movement is so smooth and so fluid. It's really great to look at. I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again, Dean Jones is so good at reacting. Not when he's just like giving monologues, he's great at acting, but his reactions are what give his characters such depth and authenticity. I just love his little reactions. They're just little moments of gold as far as I'm concerned. Something I loved about this film was how many downs there were. This family got put through the ringer. Opening the ski lodge was not easy for them. It was not one down, it was not two downs. It was a lot of downs. You really thought they weren't gonna be able to open this dang ski lodge, but they do, spoiler alert. It's not a car chase, but it is a chase and it is a race. It's a snowmobile race, yes, that's right. Another Disney movie with some kind of vehicle racing or chasing going on. I don't know what it is about the 60s and 70s that had the entire United States so jazzed up about car chases, but here we are. It's in almost every live action film at this point. It was way too long. I didn't like it. And they don't even win. They don't even win, which was actually interesting because they normally win the race because that's normally what it's about because it's like some kind of car chase or important race. He's racing. Johnny's character is the best character in the film. He cracks me up and he always comes up with the best ideas. <laughs> Snowball Express was fun and well done. I think I'm gonna give it six skis out of 10. Our total movie count is 
Parent Death Toll and Crack Counter are still the same. If you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and you'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I have also started weekly vlogging. If you're interested in watching those, I put them out every Wednesday. Please go watch the few I have put out so far and let me know if you're liking what I'm doing. If you hate me weekly vlogging, let me know. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe, but I'm not in charge of you are, so you do, and do not be the bank owner about it. I forgot his name, but he lies and isn't nice. <laughs> Filmed in Crested Butte, Colorado, but...